Okay, we're in business. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sick Mobility Flow. My name is Coach Debbie, and thank you for being here today. Um, today's class, we are going to be working with primarily one stick, but I do want to showcase um, a couple things with two sticks and a shorter stick. But if you only have one stick, that is fine, okay? Everything that I'm gonna be doing can be done with just one, one. <laughs> All right, let's get this class rolling. It's nice and chilly here. It's 30 degrees in California right now. <laughs> All right, so I want you to go ahead and take a nice wide horse stance. So we're gonna get nice and warmed up, hitting those three planes of motion. Just a light grip on the stick. So let's take a big inhale up and exhale. I always like to warm up with a three planes stretch. So hitting that sagittal plane, open up wide. And again, big inhale up. Hold it right here, drop shoulders and back pocket and let's go ahead and take a nice lateral tilt. So hitting that horizontal plane and really focus on what your body's feeling. You're opening up that lateral line, feeling it, that stretch of the rib cage, nice and easy. Nice. Let's do one more. Bring it up high, bring that sit right in front of the chest, soften those shoulders, soften your grip, and let's go right into a transverse turn. Nice and easy. One more time. Take it back center, and let's go ahead and just soften those shoulders again. And I wanna warm up your ankles, your ankle joints. Let's get those feet nice and warmed up. Taking the stick right to 12 o'clock, right to 12 o'clock. I want you to drive the stick into the floor, just about 30 to 40% drive here. You're gonna naturally feel that core is gonna just naturally activate, and I want you to really embrace that. And let's just hold here for a moment. And just to wake up those feet, I want you to just go ahead and tap those, tap the feet, tap the feet out. Keeping those knees softened. Keeping those heels connected to the ground. You're just lifting those feet. Take it four, three, two, one. All right. Feet are parallel. Drive that stick in a little bit more, maybe 40 to 50% here. And let's go ahead and raise the heels up. Raise the heels up. And lower. One second. Ruby hasn't been out. Just to let you know. Sorry, I had to let my son know something about my dog. <laughs> this is live. <laughs> Let's go ahead and lower. And again, raise the heels up. And lower. One more time. So lifting those heels up, we're going to go ahead and take a nice lateral shift in those, in your, those ankles. I want you to shift right to 3 o'clock. Shift to nine. So you're rolling through those toes. You're gonna shake a little bit. To stabilize yourself, you wanna drive that stick into the floor. Shift again. Take it center. And then lower the heels. All right, we're gonna do a little trace the clock in each direction. Let's go ahead and lift. Drive that stick. Shift over to three o'clock. And then I want you to shift to six. You're just hovering. You're just hovering those heels. And let's shift over to nine o'clock. Drive, drive, drive. Back to 12. And lower. Shake it out. And let's go again, you guys. Let's drive the heels up. Drive them up. Shift to nine. 
Let's hover those heels to six. I think my music's a little loud. I'm sorry. I might have to turn it down. <laughs> Come back center. And lower. Nice. Shake it out, you guys. So shake out those shoulders. I am just going to turn my music down just a little bit. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hear myself. <laughs> All right. Here we go, you guys. So we're going to open up those shoulders. We're going to do a nice stretch for that upper body. So taking a nice wide grip, and so you're on the outside right here, but now I want you to slowly bring the hands in slightly, okay? Extending the arm out straight in front, and I want you to flip the right side and flip it over. Whew. Feeling that stretch, you're gonna really feel it in the right shoulder now I want you to do a nice little C curve through the spine. So I'll show it to you sideways. You're just gonna C curve, tuck the chin between those arms, really feeling that stretch through those upper traps. Pull navel on the spine, slowly come out of it. Let's do one more, one more. Take a big inhale, exhale. Looking between those arms. Pull navel in. Slowly come out of it. Now I want you to slowly unwrap. Shake it out. Shake it out. Let's get that other side. Okay, so you might need to adjust your grip a little bit. A little bit wider. Let's go ahead and flip that left side over. Arms are crossed. Arms are crossed here. And take a big inhale with the breath. Exhale, tuck, pull navel in the spine. You're feeling that stretch right through those shoulders, right through those traps. And slowly come out of it. Whew, that one feels good. <laughs> Let's do it again. Big inhale and exhale, opening up those traps. Just tuck, hold, hold, hold. Slowly come out of it and slowly unwrap. Nice, you guys. All right, we're gonna go to some lower body. One of the things I forgot to mention is if you do have a towel, we're gonna, you don't need one though, but I'm gonna use a towel a little bit with just a glide to open up the hips. So if you wanna go grab one, or you might be able to use a pillow if it's not too fluffy of a pillow. <laughs> okay, here we go. Drive your stick in, here we go. Right side, drive it in. And I want you to lunge back, lunge back. We're gonna do a monkey hang, but we're in a split stance. So take a big inhale, exhale, and just hang. Just really trust your stick, you guys. These guys are strong. And just let the body hang. Now what's great about the hanging monkey is not only is it opening up lateral lines and opening up the hip. It's actually working our grip. We're really working our grip strength here. So hold on, hold on. Take a big inhale. Exhale. And let's go ahead and do a little rotation. Just pulling that arm back slightly. Keeping that stick radiating into the floor. And slowly come back. Turn to the other side. The arm will slightly cross over. Let's do it again. Rotate, opening up, keeping that grip strong. Breathe, and come back. You might be able to do a 10% deeper on this rotation. And come back center. Go ahead and reach for the floor, nice, deep, Deep lengthening here. Big inhale, exhale. And I want you to slowly, slowly come out of it. Shake it out, good job. Let's get that opposite side. Okay, so go ahead into that split stance again. Nice split stance here. Drive your stick, strong grip, strong grip. Take a big inhale and let the body 
pain. That back foot is dorsiflex. And just hang here for a moment. Take a few big deep breaths. All right, let's add that little rotation. So slowly pulling that arm back, slowly, and rotate. Take your time, and let's slowly rotate and turn to the opposite side. You might find that you have one side that has a little bit of a deeper range of motion. Don't overstretch. Just go to your, go to your range and bring it back. Let's go back to center. One more time, crossing over, feeling it really opening up, feeling that lengthening in that rib cage, the oblique hip. Slowly come back and reach. Let's do one little extra hang here. Let's just reach for the floor. Big inhale, exhale. Slowly step out of it. Nice and slow, nice, shake it out. All right, grabbing, I'm grabbing a dish towel. You do not need this, but just having a little bit of a, something to help glide just helps get you deeper into that stretch. All right, so here we go. Let's drive that stick in again. It's right about one o'clock or two o'clock, okay? So drive, drive, drive. You're gonna slowly Circle that leg, that inside leg behind, going into a curtsy lunge. As you go into that lunge, I want you to slowly lower. So working that quad, but lengthening that hip, adjusting the stick if you need to, it shouldn't be too far away from you. Really feel that opening that hip again, lateral line. Opposite arm comes up towards me, reaching towards me. And slowly open, you're doing a little rotation. So this is actually work too. You're feeling it in that loaded leg, that quad. Slowly come back, lightly grip, and come back out of it. Shake it out. We're gonna do one more. We're doing two reps on, the same, on each side. Here we go. So you might be able to go a little bit deeper. Drive that stick in. Take a big inhale. Circle that leg slowly, coming back into a nice curtsy lunge. Keep that front leg, knee facing forward. You want to keep that nice stance here. Watch your form. And maybe we could go a little deeper. Breathe. Big inhale, exhale. Reach forward, slowly open, and reach down, and slowly come back. Nice. Really a lot of hip opening here. Let's get that opposite side. Opposite side. All right, here we go. 11 or 10 o'clock. Drive that stick in. Let's go ahead and slowly come back into that curtsy lunge. Drive that leg back, go into that hang, adjust the stick if you need to. Breathe. Big inhale, exhale. Hey, Colby, Ruby needs out. Thank you. All right, hanging, let's reach out forward. And slowly open the arm. Keep that drive, keep that drive. Reach down and slowly come back. Nice. Let's do one more and then we're moving on to some strength. All right, here we go. Drive, slowly go into that curtsy. And open up, maybe 10% deeper. All right. Really feeling it reaching towards me. Big inhale, exhale. 
slowly open. And slowly come back, lightly grip, and drive that back leg back to stand. Beautiful. Okay, since we're here, I'm gonna take you into a nice little ninja flow. We're doing a lot of deep stretching today, but I do have coming up for you some core strength. All right, taking a nice big white horse stance. I want you to take the stick right on the inside. It's just maybe about four inches, five inches from your big toe. And go ahead and reach, strong grip, reach down with that opposite arm, reach for the floor, lightly grip. Now with Ninja, we're gonna take a nice lateral movement right over to the left and then let's take it to the right let's do one more lateral movement reach it over nice each time you move in that lateral shift maybe try to go a little bit deeper let's go again ah and come back center over to the right now center reach down and slowly round out of it nice let's get that opposite side keeping that nice wide stance strong grip radiate that stick right into the floor nice strong 50 percent at least or more drive and let's go ahead and reach reach Take a big inhale, lightly grip towards the bottom of that stick. We're gonna move laterally, big inhale, exhale. And slightly over to the left, feeling it in your adductor. Let's go again, big inhale, exhale. Little bit deeper. And one more time, big inhale and go. Oh yeah, getting a little deeper there if you can. Come back right over to the left. Feel that stretch in the adductor. Bring it back center, reach slowly, slowly round out of it, beautiful. Okay, taking the stick right to the mid back. We're gonna wrap the crooks, of, it's gonna be right into the crooks of our elbows here, okay? Feet are parallel to start here. Just a little bit of more narrow horse stance. And let's go ahead and just do a little bit of a rotation, a little bit of kayaking movement, just rolling. Keep that movement, we're really gonna open up the thoracic spine here, get that working. Ooh, I just felt a little crackling, so I'm giving myself a little adjustment. <laughs> nice. All right, let's reverse that roll. Reverse. Roll it back. Roll it back. Let's enjoy this. Use the breath, you guys. Don't hold your breath. Keep that breath strong, flowing, inhaling through the nose. Exhale, and bring it back to neutral, nice. Okay, turn those toes out, you're in a nice plie stance, or sumo squat. I want you to open up those arms nice and wide. Wide grip here, and let's go ahead and do that rule again. It's gonna feel a little different. And now reverse that roll, reverse it. Nice. Keeping it neutral, and we're gonna do a nice transverse turn. So let's slowly turn. Ooh. That's as far as I can go, folks, today. Some days are a little bit tighter than others. <laughs> And let's slowly take it to the other side. A little bit deeper range of motion there. 
Bring it back to center. We're gonna tilt now, take it to your right, tilt. That stick slightly comes behind that leg. Now, you wanna drop the stick to the floor, the connection, open up wide, and just hang here for a moment. We're really going to be open today. <laughs> and reach around, grab that stick, lift it back from the floor, off the floor, come back to center. Let's tilt to the opposite side. Slightly comes behind that leg and push it to the floor and just hang. Just hang. Just enjoy the stretch. Grab it again, lift off the floor, and slowly come out of it. This is a great moment to move into our slap shot. All right? We are ready for it. So you're going to lower the stick to the sacrum. All right? So it's right, right there, nice and low. Still in a nice wide stance. Just shake out the shoulders. Shake them out. Let's get ready to do this. So take a big inhale and exhale, hinge forward, feeling that stretch right through your hamstrings, right through the hammies. With that right leverage on your right hands, take a big inhale, exhale, and slowly move that stick, if you can, to 12 o'clock. If you don't get to 12, that is fine. Breathe. And let's bring it back. Rolling it right across that lower back. Big inhale. Opposite side leverage. Try to hit that 12. So we're setting up to go into a deeper stretch here with slap shot. One of Stig Mobility's signature stretches and slowly come out of it and unhinge shake it out all right so we're going to get ready to move into that lateral lunge with a slap shot so hinging forward hinging forward take a big inhale leverage press that stick right in front of you 12 o'clock we are going to laterally lunge to the right so take a big inhale Exhale, and move into that. Hold for a moment. Let's lateral lunge to that opposite side. Keep your grip nice and strong. Now let's move into a flow. We're gonna go four times. So let's come to the right one, and keep moving. And two, you can add a little bit of a movement to it, explore how this feels. Three, now hold it on four, hold, 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 hold. You might be able to get a little deeper in this. Nice. Slowly come back to center and unwind. Come back to stand, shake it out. I'd like to give you a little recovery in between so you can really focus on what you're gonna do on that opposite side. Think about how deep you wanna get into that stretch. And it's more of a dynamic flow that we're doing once we get going. So take a big inhale, exhale. Here we go. Leverage, push that stick, the opposite side, right to 12. Drive it into the floor. And let's go right over to the left. Nice lateral lunge. Big inhale, exhale, let's take it to that opposite side. Hitting that adductor a little bit more. Now let's go right into that flow four times. So let's take it. There's one. 
shift and two and three and four and hold 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 holding that stretch slowly come back center unwind and come out of it nice you guys grab your second stick okay work in the core double stick if you just have one that's fine you're just going to work with it center stacking those hands so let's take it to 1 and 11 o'clock right here it's right about your grip is right about shoulder height and we're going to drive those sticks keeping those feet nice and grounded drive those sticks i want you to think 50 to 60 percent tension and drive one two three drive those core muscles that powerhouse is just going to naturally engage and that's what i want you to focus on here hold it four three keep driving two one shake it out shake it out all right let's go ahead shift the sticks so i'm going to shift it over so actually i want you to keep it at one and let's go ahead and take this to 11. it's a little bit wider one two three 50 to 60 percent drive targeting the oblique area a little bit more drive 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 hold it four three two one shake it out so i want you to think as if you're trying to drill a hole into the floor drilling a floor right into the floor okay here we go i'm going to challenge you you can either just shift to 12 and right at nine you can keep it there or if you want to try 12 and six so the sticks i'll show it to you this way 12 and six right here all right so let's get ready one two three drive drive looking towards your 12 12 o'clock stick drive 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 hold it four three, two, one, release. You can see the, the strain in my arms here. <laughs> Shake it out. All right, let's shift to the opposite side. So you've got 11 and 10 right here. So one, two, three, 50 to 60%. If you want to do more, drive, drive. Focus on pulling that navel right into your right into your range, just cinching that waist. Here we go, pull, activate the core, hold. I'm holding. <laughs> Let's hold for four, three, two, one, release. Nice. 12 o'clock or three o'clock. I'm gonna, so you have your choice, this, or if you wanna try this, six o'clock. So it's a little bit different. Take a big inhale, exhale, drive, drive. My hands are sweating and my hands are starting to slip. So keep a strong grip, strong grip. And hold for four, three, two, one, release. Ah, that was work. <laughs> Okay, we're going to continue with the core, but we're going to take it to the floor. So coming down, seated position, we are going to work a little dead bug. Get my spot here so you can see me. Okay, so you're right into, so it's one stick on each side. Now, if you're working with one stick, you can work unilaterally. Just choose which side you want to start with, okay? So we're going to go ahead and just roll down right onto our back, picking up our sticks, push that lower back, squish that marshmallow right into the floor, push that lower back into the floor, bring those legs at the tabletop, flex the feet, all right? Now, 
you're going to take the sticks, place the ends of them on top of your feet. All right, get yourself nice and situated. Sticks are nice and parallel. Arms are straight up slightly above your head. Push that lower back into the mat. Lots of things to think about while you're doing this dead bug, okay? It's hard enough to keep the connection of the stick to your feet. So you're having to push, put some pressure into them, some tension. Drive the feet into the stick, the sticks into the feet. There we go. Start with the extension of one leg. Doesn't matter which one. Extend out. And now bring it back. Push that lower back into the mat. Opposite leg. Extend out. Breathe. So drive that extended leg out. Push with that bent knee into the stick. So you're creating tension. Come back to tabletop. We are getting ready to flow. So keep that strong connection. And let's go ahead and flow. A little bit of a scissor here. Push that lower back into the floor. Be strong and purposeful here. Take your time. It's hard enough again to keep that connection with those sticks. Keep it going. Oh boy. Let's take four more. One on each side is one rep. So here's two. Push that lower back in. Don't lose that connection. Here's three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm almost going to lose it, but I'm not going to let it go. Four. And bring both knees up. And release. Good job. Good job, you guys. All right, ditch one stick if you're working with two. We're going to do a little lower back release. So bring in that stick, like if you were doing a chest press here. All right. We're gonna do a little rotation. Make sure I'm away from the wall a little bit. Feet planted into the mat. Now bring those legs back up to tabletop. And you're gonna just windshield wiper the knees to one side. So I'm gonna go with one side and that stick goes down to the floor, drive it into the opposite side. All right, so this, you're not letting those legs drop yet. You're not letting them drop. So drive. Roll back to center. Go to that opposite side. Windshield wiper, connection of the stick into the floor. So you're working here. Let's do one more. Roll to center. Rotate. The key here is driving the stick, radiating into the floor with that top hand, keeping that core nice and engaged, and bring it back center. Opposite side, one more. Breathe, and bring it back center, nice. Drop the feet. Bring that arms behind you. Stick is up behind the head. Just keep a light grip. Now the feet are just wider than hip width apart. Let's go ahead and do a lower back release. Windshield wiper the legs to one side. Nice. Take a big inhale. Send that oxygen to your lower back. Inhale and exhale. Push that leg down, opening up the quad and hip a little bit more. Feel that stretch and slowly come back center. Let's windshield wiper to the opposite side. Big inhale and let the legs just flop over. So I, with this top leg, I am pushing it down a little bit more. So I feel that stretch in the quad, opening up the hip. Take a big inhale, send that oxygen to your lower back. Exhale. 
and bring those legs back up. Stick comes back up. Do a nice little tuck. Lift the head and shoulders. And let's just go ahead and do a couple little roll-ups. Just a couple little rock-ups coming up and back. Two more. Up. This time coming all the way up and hold. Nice. All right, you guys, coming back to standing. Good job. Coming back to your stand. I'm going to actually take you into um, a pendulum. Now, I'm going to feature the short stick. This is just another bit. We're really opening up that upper body here. And then we're going to end with bow and arrow. But if you have the short stick, grab it. If you don't, that's okay. You can do this with the, also with the long stick, okay? With the long stick, your grip will just be inside the stick. If you have the shorter one, this is what I love about the shorter one, <laughs> the grippies here. Okay, so you're taking a nice wise ants. We're gonna do what is called pendulum. With the breath, I want you to take a big inhale with that left hand push up, open. And let's pendulum to the other side. Let's keep it going. Two more. Big inhale. Exhale. Opposite side. Big inhale. Exhale. And bring it back center. We're going to go diagonal. So diagonal. So your leverage was that front hand. And I want you to take a big inhale. And exhale, go right into that diagonal. And with that opposite hand, leverage, big inhale, exhale, open up. Let's do one more that same side. Big inhale, exhale. And changing that leverage, big inhale, exhale. Maybe go a little bit deeper. And bring it back to center. Nice. Shake it out. Let's get that opposite side. Hit that diagonal. So it's right across your hip here. Let's start with that top hand leverage. Take a big inhale and exhale, press. Big inhale, reverse it. Let's do it again, big inhale, exhale. Your breath is what is allowing you to get deeper. Big inhale, exhale. Ah. And bring it back to center, nice. Shake it out, shake it out. Maybe just do a few little rolls, little circular motions. And we will go back to our taller stick if you're working with the shorter. And we're gonna finish with always bow and arrow. Okay. And I think with all of the upper body opening we did and stretches, we're ready for bow and arrow, you guys. All right, here we go. So let's take a nice wide horse stance. Let's start taking that stick right at three o'clock. Doesn't matter which side, you guys, but I'm trying to mirror you a little bit here. All right, so drive, drive, drive the stick right into the floor, nice and strong, okay? Reaching with that top hand, I want you to have a strong grip. That thumb is pointing down, okay? I'm gonna set you up for this. The inside hand is right where the sticker is. Keep those hips squared off, drive. Now shift your hips out. And the activation is gonna be right here. So top hand driving, inside arm pressing. Let's do it. Take a big inhale and exhale, activate and hold. Nice, nice isometric strength move here. Hold, 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 four, three, two, one, slowly bring it back, shake it out. Let's do a little bit deeper if we can. Let's try to go maybe 10% deeper. Take a big inhale, it could even be the shift is deeper. 
Big inhale. Shift, exhale, activate. And just hold. Nice. Keep that strong grip. You're pulling and pushing. Opposing grips here, opposing presses, okay? Slowly come out. Shake it out. We're gonna do one more. We're doing three on each side. This one is your grand one, <laughs> okay? So here we go. Drive, drive, drive. Big inhale. Shift, exhale, activate. Activate, yeah. If you wanna look to the sky, go for it. Hold for four, three, two, one, slowly come out of it. Nice job, you guys. Whoo, shake it out. We better even it out. Here we go. Getting through this. Opposite side. Drive that stick in. Drive, drive, drive. All right. Reaching up. Inside arm center. Nice 90 degrees. Shift your weight. Shift the hips. Take a big inhale. First one, exhale, activate. So again, the first one, we're gonna progress. We wanna progress in how deep we go into this bow and arrow. Hold four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it, shake it out, shake it out. All right, number two, here we go. Second one, let's shift, big inhale. Exhale, let the breath assist you, activate and just hold. Enjoy this. <laughs> hold for four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it. All right, this is our final one, you guys. Let's make it the best. You're ready for it. So again, shake it out. We're gonna progress into it. Drive. Reach up with that outside hand. Grip, drive. Shift hips to the side, out to the side. A big inhale and exhale. Here we go. Stretching to be stronger here. <laughs> and just hold, you guys. If you want to look to the sky, add a little bit of shift, you can. Hold, hold, hold for four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it. Ah, shake it out, good job, nice. Take that stick to 12 o'clock, take it to 12 o'clock. I want you just to go ahead, lift it up. We're just gonna end with a little bit of wrist activation, a little bit of joint mobility since we were gripping so much, and just go ahead and do a little stir of the pot. So it's just a little, so your feedback is focusing on that wrist. Focusing on your grip and reverse it. Reverse it. Nice. Just stirring the pot. And let's switch sides. Shake it out. Arm is straight out. And start the circular motion. But I want you to focus on the wrist activation, okay? And let's reverse. One thing I love about working with these sticks is the feedback you get with the stick with joint mobility, with joint activation. Feeling the weight of the stick really strengthens those joints. All right, you guys. <laughs> that concludes our Thursday Mobility Flow class. Thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Debbie Gleason, and you can follow me at Debbie F. Gleason. Um, all these classes are on our YouTube page, Stick Mobility YouTube, along with the other coaches, lots of great content. Our job is to keep you healthy, keep your body moving. Movement matters. No matter what is going on in your life, this if you can do this on a regular basis, it's a game changer. I can't, I can't express it enough, all right? I know it's changed my life. 
and the way I move and the way my body feels. So I love sharing it with you. Have a great day and I will see you next Thursday.